had an amazing sleep last night. It is so sheltered in here and very, very quiet. The plan for the day, get to Blind Bay, top up our fuel, need to grab some groceries and ice as well as a few other things. We're thinking we should leave here pretty soon. I'm Allison and this is my other half, James. We left it all behind to move aboard our small, no frill sailboat, living out our dream of exploring the epic coast of the Pacific Northwest. We bought a boat, spent months fixing it up while teaching ourselves how to sail, before finally untying from home port for good, with a big goal in mind, to sail the entire inside passage to Alaska. Slowly snaking our way north, we're learning something new every day, especially here, timing the tides through the Discovery Islands. Today is a bit of a milestone, as we'll be transiting the last of the hazardous tidal rapids. We got through them all. We are now on the North Island. Oh, we're technically in the Broughtons now. We are trying to time our departure with Greenpoint Rapids, which is about three hours away or 14 nautical miles or so. It's gonna be another hot one. Gonna enjoy some sunny weather today and uh, should be a nice motor to Blind Bay. Motoring out of the shallow lagoon at high tide, we set our course for Blind Bay around East Thurlow Island via Nodal's Channel. Rounding St. John's Point, we spotted a pair of orcas swimming just meters from our stern. An absolutely gorgeous summer day to be on the water. We enjoyed some lunch underway, and before we knew it, we were rounding Shell Point towards the quaint harbor of Blind Bay. Okay, yeah. oh, that's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. How's it looking, Al? Your pants be up full. Okay, but it's not gurgling out the gauge. Nope. Okay. <laughs> that, there we go. Yeah. All right. That's it. And I'll fill up the jerry can. Yeah. Forty-six point four. With our tanks full, we pushed off the fuel dock. <laughs> look at this guy, look at this. He makes it look easy. Nicely done, Cap. Yeah. Thanks, sir. Ain't your first rodeo or is it your second? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you've been here for an hour or whatever. We don't have any airplanes coming in anymore. So. Then wandered up the wharf in search of some fresh provisions and good Wi-Fi. 
We learned that Blind Channel is a family-owned operation and the only establishment on West Thurlow Island. With a full-service marina, lovely waterfront cottages, and ocean view restaurant serving up a local seasonal menu, it's no wonder this place is a rush during the busy summer months. We wandered into the general store and were stoked to find it well stocked. Having gone weeks without, we were pretty excited to see fresh food. Broccoli, cauliflower, peppers, mushrooms, eggs, cheese. A pretty happy place for two very hungry and thirsty cruisers. We made good use of the Wi-Fi, then settled in for the night. The next morning we were on the move bright and early. What you doing down there? I have flour on my lips. <laughs> good. We are just making some uh, yeasty pancakes. We don't have any baking powder or baking soda. So we are using yeast and we're going to have some pancakes with some fresh blueberries that we picked yesterday. I believe they're blackberries. Blackberries. <laughs> um, and maybe some Vegemite. Because we love Vegemite. Um, because we're waiting at the moment. We approached Whirlpool Rapids here and I guess we arrived at the maximum flood. It wasn't too bad coming up the channel so we figured we'd poke our nose up into it and see how it was. There were a couple of little whirly pools and some strange curry things. We came around a little bit of the point and no, no way. The boat slowed down to like half a knot. There was a big motor yacht coming down the rapid and he was fishtailing and going one way and the other and rolling and we were just like no way let's not do it let's let's wait till slack the notes on navionics do say that you can transit this rapid at any time but maybe they're talking about power vessels and not sailboats um so regardless we did a quick little about turn hit 10 knots running with the current and then came into this little back eddy here which looked anchorable there's no notes on it on the navionics but it's out of the main current we're protected from the wind and we dropped the hook here in about 50 feet it stuck pretty easily so we're just going to chill here for the next three hours this area turns to slack an hour and 40 minutes prior to seymour narrows so it should be slack at about 250 today so we're just going to hang out have some lunch might make a cup of coffee and just enjoy the beautiful scenery here for the next few hours he smells our pancakes.
It's a few hours later, or about half an hour before the anticipated time for slack, so we're gonna pull up anchor and head through the rapids. I think it'll probably be a pretty smooth sailing. It looks like it's calmed down there quite considerably, but we'll go stick our noses out, pull out the hook and uh, go take a look. So we're tucked away here in Douglas Bay. This is Forward Harbour, and it was just a quick motor around Wellburn Channel through Whirlpool Rapids, but we're very well protected here from the northwesterly that is gusting down Johnston Strait at the moment. It's a gust warning, so I think the wind is meant to get up to 35 knots out there this afternoon and this later this evening. It's very calm and very lovely in here. Well, we're gonna hang out here for the evening, and then in the morning, we're gonna get an early start and uh, continue on the way. It should be good. I'm gonna go make us a cocktail. Uh, we only have the ingredients for Manhattans. <laughs> For some reason, <laughs> eggs were like twelve dollars for a dozen, a dollar an egg, I guess, at um, Blind Bay. So we are not doing our preferred cocktail, which is a whiskey sour. We are going for the second best, which is the Manhattan. We choose to make our Manhattans from the finest Canadian whiskey, Crown Royal, distilled in Ontario. It's a Canadian classic. I don't think anyone in Manhattan would ever make a Manhattan using Crown Royal, <laughs> but we do. Manhattan in New York was actually named after the cocktail, the Manhattan. They loved it so much there that they decided to name their entire community after it, which I think is pretty cool. For Manhattans on the boat, we use four shots of whiskey because we like to drink doubles. And now I've got to find the vermouth. That's our vermouth locker. It's where we store all of our vermouth. I can't really remember the exact ratio of vermouth, but is it two to one, or is it one to two? Hmm. Maybe it's equal parts. Cool. Well, that'll do. We don't want to drink all of them. I guess we're going one to one. We got less. Probably do. <laughs> so that's how they taught me to do it in bartending school. Beautiful. Look at that. Gorgeous. No need to strain. Bon appetit! Cheers! Cheers! We got through them all. We are now on the North Island. Well, oh, we're technically in the Broughtons now. Forever waiting, then came you. I thought 